And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Paprika. She she is ranked number one in her gold division with 2,203 points with a record of 1,498 wins and 1,493 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the East-ish up against Paprika, also a Terran player. She is blue. Sorry if you're a dude, but Paprika kind of sounds like a female name to me, plus you have a female icon, so I'm going to go with she. Blue in the south. And really, I mean, did you see that record? Like, f so many wins and losses. How? how? Wasn't it like 1,400? I just looked at it like five minutes ago and I've already forgotten. So many matches though. You probably won't see me ever get to that high. I'll probably get sick of this game before I play, you know, damn near 3,000 3, games. I don't know. I mean, the game's good and all, but good lord. Okay, so this, the map is Metalopolis. So we have spawned in pretty close pretty close spawn positions here. Not the closest, of course. I would consider this the closest, even though the ramps are probably closer here. The air distance here is just so small. And Paprika goes straight into my base. That was a lucky first guess. Lucky-ish, because really I, I don't like it when I get the first guess. Because that means the SUV has to stay there longer. And there she did catch it, starting to queue up around the base and checking checking the behind the smoke. But I, I didn't put anything there. Barracks is out here, I don't know what else I'm supposed to have by now. But I'm stuck going all the way across the map. Trying to find where my opponent is. Not gonna be able to find it for a while. Barracks is up for both of us. Neither one of us getting the orbital command immediately. There we go. I'm getting mine first. And there she starts hers immediately afterwards. Back to the income. Uh, Paprika has fully saturated one gas. I still have not fully saturated my first gas. That is a mistake on my part. That should be done well before this first barracks is even finished, let alone before this first marine is out. And here, I, so I'm forced to delay that reactor as a result. Finally getting in, trying to get some scouting done. This is now a suicide SCV. But now the marine... Yeah, both Marines decide to just back off, but I do see that factory is on the way, so immediately I know that I want to go for an early push here. I do have that second barracks on the way, and I'm going to go for the third, and I want to get those done as soon as possible so I can start to make a move with my upgraded infantry, trying to take on what I assume will be a small number of siege tanks. Hopefully I can get them out of position, and I can take that win. Starport though on the way, so we are going to be seeing what I'm going to call the fast starport build. You know, 1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1 one barracks, one factory, one starport. No add-on ever onto this barracks. Tech lab going down on the factory. And now a forest building, a another barracks. I I've never seen a... Destiny Cloudfist build, if you will, uh, for fast starport build, end up with an immediate second barracks. I, I've I've never seen that, but a medevac is on the way, along with a hellion. Nothing being researched at the tech lab, so I don't know why a hellion was chosen first. Possibly because they didn't have enough gas. That would be my only guess. But really. There, I mean, th if you're going to go for this build, you want to get those two gas up as soon as possible. And as a result, yeah, the Paprika does have the lead in terms of the gas. 
I do have the lead, or at least I should, in the minerals, and it's a little bit iffy because the mules do change that number so quickly, back and forth, up and down. But looking at the army, well, the, the units count. I have seven marines and two marauders. Pepperick has five marines, two hellions, and a medevac. And it does look like the medevac is loaded with four marines and two hellions, and she is going for a drop. And I am not prepared for a drop, especially since she is being very smart about it and going the long way around. Luckily, I will catch this with my supply depot. I am building those around my base now, not just bunching them up all together in the middle there. And meanwhile, I am going in for an attack. It is not, well, it's mostly an all-in. But I'm going to spot this medevac. Am I going to spot it in time to get those SCVs out of there? No, I still... I'm doing a bad job of getting the SUVs out of the line. Today was an average day for me, I'll be honest, in terms of what I was supposed to do. But I think it's because I was too focused on what was going on over here. Taking out SCVs, just mad. So I felt like it was kind of even, but really, yes, get them out of there. Finally, good lord, that took forever. And instantly everything back into the medevac. Am I going to be able... No, the medevac is going to get away. It is going to try and reinforce what's left. SCV's bunched up all over. Yeah. He's got... She's got so much more than I do. Still has 26. A raven is out on the field. I don't know why a raven is out. Cannot build anything else. There are no supply depots. But the raven is out and throwing down an auto turret. And here I'm starting to micro... Those SCVs, I don't want him to get us around, plus these guys are starting to get really weak. Medevac is back, dropping the two Hellions and the four Marines. That should be enough to finish off this one Marauder. Reinforcements were on the way. I did back them off, though. And, oh, Medevac going back for another drop. Will I have enough to fend it off this time? I don't know. I did... Where do I still have the rally points? Yes, the rally points are still set all the way down there. They're actually on one of these marauders. That one right there. Even though he's just a recruit. I'm going back in. Taking out what I can. Taking out the auto turret. I've never been a fan of those. Going in. Clearing out the SCV line. And I'm just like, you know what? Do I need to engage all this? I do. So I go out, I start microing <laughs> SCVs. <laughs> oh, kiting SCVs. I never thought I would see that, but I did it because I didn't want it, these guys to get a surround on me, even though they're faster. So here I'm just content with staying in the mineral line. He cannot, she, sorry, cannot mine while those guys are there. Bunches them all up and boom, insta surround. Marines and a Hellion coming in to finish off the job. I was unable to take out the main base. And it does look like I didn't get that good of an army. Meanwhile, yeah, my, my minerals skyrocketed. Because I assumed that the game was over. So I kind of gave up on it. I was like, oh yeah, game's over. Okay, what what's next? Next game. But no, game's still going. So I am getting more marines, more marauders. Going for an expansion now. With what few minerals I do have left now. I did have a lot of minerals and I just don't have any SCVs. You know, she's still got the lead on me on that. And yeah, 800 to 300. I don't think she realizes that though. And she is... Pumping out as many infantry units as she can. What are we seeing here? Stim pack being researched. Mine, of course, is already done. Combat shield is active. You can see it in the little portrait there, but still would love an icon there. Marauders, of course, with concussive shells and stim pack as well. They should be 1-1. One, one. But no, I'm not even researching yet. I'm actually going for another push here. 
right as the right as Fabrico looks like she was going to be trying to secure an expansion. Yeah, definitely uh, got enough minerals for that expansion. I am denying that. No, you cannot have the expansion. Going in, stimming up. SCV's coming off the line again. I should be able to clean up these guys, though, easily. Yes, I am. SCV's coming in a long line. They will just come to die. And now down to 12 SCVs against my 20. I've been able to get them back up thanks to that expansion. Reinforcements still coming. Able to take out the last fighting unit. Stimming up to take out the medevac. I uh, don't really know why that stim went down right there, but that is the game. So we did see a Destiny Cloudfist build, Fast Starport build, into what ended up being four, four barracks. So that was definitely, that was an interesting game. Just two different builds, and... Bad timing on the medevac drop. It was a little bit late in comparison to when I moved in because really you want that medevac drop to be the first thing that happens, the first conflict in the game. And it was just a hair late because I was down here going through the front door at the same time doing just as much harassment on the SCVs as she was doing to me. Another huge mistake for me, not getting these SCVs off the line faster. It is what held me back for a lot of this game. Otherwise, the game would have been over a lot faster. Once again, macro falling apart because I assume the game is over. What if there were there was all of a sudden a ton of SCVs coming off the line again? Once again, just because you're winning and looks like you're going to win the game, don't, don't fall apart on your macro. Keep up on it. You know, what am I producing? Neither one of us is producing anything. She's... Almost doubled me. Yeah, not right, not really, but almost. <laughs> kind of, sort of doubled my APM. And looking at the spending, most of that technology went into just building materials. Uh, you know, starport, tech labs, reactors. And very few of it went towards actual upgrades on the unit. And that is what definitely propelled me forward in this game along with my quick aggressive build. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.